The 4.6 billion Kenyan Navy ship Jasiri has finally arrived. A ship that holds with it the promise of not only boosting our own internal security, but also better managing the fight against terrorism. We're given the unique opportunity to have a sneak preview inside the ship. Join me. From battlefield missile systems to Air Force Defense missile systems and radar systems, KNS Jasiri comes fully equipped and ready for the battlefront. Our short tour of the vessel, though restricted, allowing us initial access into a facility said to be armed with naval guns, missile launching equipment, and a crew trained to operate it. Today we are more powerful. And therefore, if there is somebody out there in our waters thinking that we are worried, let him or her know that more than ever before, as we go for the home stretch against the enemy, things can only get tough for that person. The journey that saw the arrival of KNS to Siri was neither an easy one nor was it short. Its preparation having taken at least nine months before it finally left Port Seda in Spain for Mombasa, spending 20 days in the high seas. Its arrival, therefore, nothing short of pomp and color, allowing the Kenyan Navy officers to welcome the sheep and their own officers and servicemen in style in a ceremony attended by senior military and government officials, including the Parliamentary Select Committee on Defense and Foreign Relations. For 31-year-old Phoebe Macau and 25-year-old Anna Wangari, being away from home for close to 10 months may not have been easy, but the experience was certainly worth it. The two, part of a crew of 60 that had the rare opportunity to train in an actual ship. The most important was knowing there's a family waiting for me, knowing that I'm expected to do that, knowing I'm, I'm among the very few, and uh, knowing that this is an opportunity that many people are looking forward to and didn't get it. And so family members warmly received their own, dedicated to the duty of protecting Kenya's territorial waters as a warship that had been ordered 10 years ago in a contract that drew controversy, having been part of the Anglo-leasing type contracts, finally docked, ready for battle. Evelyn Mboui, Citizen TV, in Mombasa.